The dashboard's extension allows us to make use of alternative views in the notebook without having to install additional software. Installation of the extension is briefly covered, and then we set about building a dashboard widget with an interactive function. At the end of this video, we set up the Jupyter In-Depth Operations Dashboard and look at the grid and report views. Start by cloning the project into the local directory so that we can build the documentation for offline use. Install the extension in your active environment using pip or the conda command. Run the Jupyter Dashboard's quick setup command with the sysprefix option to activate the extension for your current environment. Verify that the extension has loaded with the list command. Also verify that IPy widgets is installed and active in your current environment or JavaScript widgets will not display properly when called with interact. Build the documentation for the package and sweep for example notebooks as with any other package. You may wish to take a look at declarative widgets, which is a module used in the author's example notebooks. They are not used in this course. In the example code, two arrays are produced of eight digits each. The arrays go from zero to eight in seven moves. The function provided adds or subtracts the next value in the iterable from a running total. The fluctuated iterables are then plotted. The second iterable is reversed because otherwise they would be identical. An additional method is provided to reverse the positive and negative values for each member in an array and to perform the plotting so that the whole workflow can be tied to a single widget interaction. In the notebook view, the widgets are presented as a finding. In the toolbar, we now have the dashboard view buttons available for use. The dashboard authoring view and dashboard preview are now available. Selecting the authoring view brings up the web interface where widgets can be arranged in a way that presents the data as intended. To display code, cells with the code in them in markdown format will have to be rendered and placed where appropriate. There is a checkbox that can toggle code showing through a cell when it is highlighted. When the dashboard has been arranged logically, select the Dashboard Preview button to see the rendered product. An operational intelligence dashboard is now at our fingertips. By linking together all of the code in this series, we can perform real business intelligence analysis and create powerful widgets to help us get started with Jupyter development. In the example Jupyter In-Depth Dashboard, Web tables are built in HTML that contain tweets about Jupyter from the area around the University of California, Berkeley campus, and all of the open issues for Jupyter Notebook. The next step in becoming a Jupyter developer is to read all of the open issues and track how they are resolved. As the final exercise in this course, update this dashboard to track the Jupyter Lab software and save it as a separate dashboard. Create an additional dashboard for every project you have interest in. Using the dashboard server and kernel gateway, dashboards can be distributed for remote viewing.